Hi, it's my weekly camera news video. So, <clears throat> no new releases for this week, unfortunately. But, <clears throat> I did find on a YouTube video on the page by Lucas Benjamin, um, an announcement that uh, Fujifilm and Hasselblad uh, may be collaborate or collaborating again on a camera that they first released apparently back in 1998 way back in the day but the cool thing about this camera and Fujifilm was the TX1 the Hasselblad was the X-Pan uh, so they both released a version of this but this this camera would take uh, and it was using film this is back in the day, 1998, of course, before digital really took off. Uh, but it would take two pictures side by side and then create like a panoramic photo from those two images. So it took like two shots at once and then combine them into one. It was like, what a cool idea, huh? <laughs> That's really cool. But anyway, um, the aspect ratio was like 65 to 24, so it's obviously very long. Now, this is not official, of course, but uh, Lucas Benjamin had uh, said that it looks like, from the rumor mill, that they're working on a digital version of this camera. So, that sounds really, really cool. And, of course, um, it, it's going to need new lenses and all that kind of stuff like that to go with it. Um, but I just thought that that was like, sound like a really, really cool camera and lots of fun. So that's new. Um, an announcement uh, on Nikon Rumors website. Again, this is a rumor, not an official announcement. But uh, it looks like Nikon is going to be incorporating the technology from RED cameras, which they acquired, you know, recently, into their cameras for their video. Duh, you know, who didn't see that one coming? <laughs> that only makes, well, why would you buy, if you were a camera company and you bought a cinema camera company, why would you, the, and the, one of the best, why would you not incorporate that technology into your cameras? I mean, of course you're going to. <laughs> so anyway, and another uh, rumor going around uh, about Panasonic. Um, it looks like um, from a discussion with their, uh, some of their executives uh, which were being interviewed for some something publication or something online some newsworthy anyway they are looking to end lines of products which are not profitable and that's got all the Lumix camera people uh, owners really nervous that they might consider uh, either splitting off or ending the Lumix camera line I would be really surprised if that happened, but I guess it's possible that that could happen. Um, I mean, Lumix is really popular and has really good um, cameras, I mean, especially for video. It's one of the most popular video cameras. In fact, Netflix um, has has uh, made one of the Lumix cameras, one of the cameras that they accept for making uh, films and thing and programs which they will release on their Netflix platform. So it's not like it's a nothing camera. I mean, it's it, they may have small market share compared with, you know, the big three, Canon, Sony, and Nikon, but so what? <laughs> you know, I, I think it's growing, their, their market share, because of the recent cameras that they've been releasing and the rumors for other cameras which are coming. So I don't know. That one sounds kind of, I don't know about that one. So hopefully Panasonic is not going to end Lumix. But, yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have for this week's camera news. So have a good week. See you later.